so there was a, a laceration about three centimeters, just over an inch to his chest, exposing the underlying muscle. The pellet then entered just below uh, the carpus area, which would be the wrist, and then went up the forearm. Essentially what it did is it broke what are called metacarpals, which would equate to the hand bones of a person, and then progressed on and uh, broke what's called the radius, which is the larger bone in your forearm. We'll do the treatments and part of the rehab here at Central Vets, but once the medical portion is done and it's able to walk, we'll send it to a rehabilitator. Um, one that we work with, they'll bring it back for re-x-ray, re-splinting, things like that. I'm hoping he's going to be okay. But he's got a lot of hurdles right now to get through. One of them is going to be infection that could be either locally in the wing or throughout his body. They could be anywhere from, you know, causing loss of the wing or um, loss of his life. It's important to save any of them that are out there. It's um, a cruel act to be shot. There aren't a lot of them out there, so the, the less that are out there, the more stress that gets put on the um, species of the, of the bird, and one day there may not be birds like this out there.